Good morning, my good family. Welcome back to Mac Music Review. Before we hop into the review, just want to say there's going to be some stuff down in the description that you're going to want to read. If you're interested in the channel, how I do my reviews, where they come from, how to request an album, all that good stuff is down in the description for this video. Today, we are going to be looking at the album This Is All Yours by Alt-J. This Is All Yours is the sophomore album for the semi-popular alternative band Alt-J. Alt-J is a very weird, kind of Radiohead-esque, very kind of abstract uh, alternative band. For their, They have really weird singing, really weird abstract lyrics, and kind of this music that's like, kind of, also kind of abstract. They're, they're pretty abstract. This is all you, this is all yours is of course their sophomore album. And it, in a lot of ways, it is very similar to An Awesome Wave. With the lyrics and the vocals being very abstract and just kind of having, kind of weird. But this album feels a lot slower than An Awesome Wave. It's also a lot longer. An Awesome Wave was just over 40 minutes, and this album is nearly an hour. This has 13 full-length tracks, and then one interlude called Garden of, e Garden of England. That's what it's called. But, yeah, it's longer than Awesome Wave, and it's a lot slower, and more peaceful, a little more quiet, and kind of kind of has that vibe going for it. This album also has two of Alt-J's biggest songs. Those songs are Hunger of the Pine and Much Bigger is the song Left Hand Free. I was actually um, just in Dairy Queen yesterday and they have like a cool like indie alternative playlist. They have oldies and kind of newer songs on there. I don't know about oldies, maybe like 90s, 2000s. But this song came on there and I was like, hey, I was just thinking about reviewing the album and the song came on. In the Dairy Queen, so Left Hand Free, one of the most popular songs. As I already mentioned, most of the music on this album is very slow, very peaceful, and just has a very slow vibe and pace going throughout the album. Very mellow, and yeah, some, like something you would listen to when you're trying to. That was a loud noise. So, like something you're trying to listen to when you're like trying to get some sleep or study or or whatever. It's that. It's that vibe, that type of music. The songs on this album that most show the slowness of the album, the ones that best demonstrate the slowness of the project, would be the song uh, Arriving and Nara, and then the song Nara, and then other songs like uh, Choice Kingdom, and the last track, the bonus track on this thing, it's called Lovely Day. All these songs, very slow, very peaceful, very mellow, but there are some, there are very few exceptions to the whole slow, mellow vibe of the album, but there are a few. The, the intro to this uh, album is a little bit upbeat. It has more of a upbeat kind of vibe. It's, there's very quick um, vocal samples playing over and over again. You also have the song Every Other Freckle and Left Hand Free, and these sound like alternative rock tunes. Left Hand Free and Every Other Freckle are the most traditional sounding songs that Alt-J has ever made. Like the most, like songs that you would actually hear on the radio, songs that don't sound, they're not exactly distinctively Alt-J that some other band could possibly pull off. Of course, I mentioned abstract lyrics, and um, man that is a really annoying noise. I mentioned abstract lyrics, and the album cover for this album. It's pretty abstract. It's literally, it's literally what, something like something you would see in an abstract art museum, or in a section on abstract art in a museum. It's a bunch of colors and shapes, like just a bunch of smeared random colors, and that's all. Jay, the singing is very, very weird, and it's singing all these very weird lyrics that a lot of them are complete nonsense. They're just really, really strange. But some of the lyrics on this thing, like like on an awesome wave, you're gonna see some love, love tinted lyrics, some love-focused and inspired lyrics on this thing. This, these kind of love-centered lyrics can be heard most clearly on songs like Left Hand Free or, or especially Warm Foothills with its imagery, and it's all just kind of, you, you got, you have some, some love 
romantic love centered lyrics on this thing, but mostly very abstract. You're just gonna hear like a reference to here or two to a woman or him being in love or something random like that, but pretty abstract lyrics and pretty weird singing on this thing. Alrighty guys, what is the quality of this record? What does it sound like? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it a little bit of both? First and foremost, I need to talk about the music. That's a very important part. That is the, the whole point of Alt-J. Like some bands have a kind of focus on the lyrics, some work really hard about the singing, but at the heart of every band is of course the music, and that is definitely the case for Alt-J. This is, above all else, a very musical project. Very harmonious, music-centered experience. The music throughout An Awesome Wave is very peaceful, it's enjoyable, it's very calm, it's very calm, and it's, honestly, it just sounds really good. It's very nice, it's very pretty, and this can basically be said of every single song on this album, minus the, the, um, the two more, like, traditional songs, which are Every Other Freckle and Left Hand Free. These songs, they honestly don't sound terrible, they honestly don't sound terrible, but they don't really fit with the rest of the album. The rest of the album is very mellow, very peaceful, very calming, very nice. But these songs are more uh, straightforward sounding rock, alt rock songs. And they're not, they're not great. They're really just not super good songs. Every Other Freckle is a lot better than Left Hand Free, but Left Hand Free, I really don't care much for this song. The lyrics are especially bad on this song, I think. This one actually has like not good lyrics. And then the, the music is just not really working for me, just inconsistent with the rest of the project, and it just doesn't sound amazing. For most albums, if I was talking about the high quality of the music, and I would, you know, talk about specific tracks, I would say, hey, here are the highlights. But it's really hard to do that with This Is All Yours, because basically all the songs, they, they don't really... An Awesome Wave had moments, had these, uh, each song, most of the songs had their own special moment or standout or highlight, or, or even if the whole song was a highlight. On this album, it all kind of just blends together in the slowness, in the peacefulness, in the niceness of it all. But it's just kind of all the songs, they're long and they all just kind of mold together. There are a few highlights, I would say, uh, Hunger of the Pine sounds really good, and then you have uh, the Gospel of John Hurt, Blood Flood Part 2. If, if I was actually saying highlights, I would just say every song, besides the ones I don't really like. Because, you know, the two I don't really like. But, because it all basically just blends together and makes for nice, enjoyable music. Peaceful, calm, pretty, nice music. I would say that the lack of climaxes, the lack of highlights and big moments are one of the weaknesses of this album. An Awesome Wave is an album that had me coming back more and more to listen to because I liked, you know, it had some great moments, some really great standout songs. And this one doesn't really have standout songs. They all sound good, but they, it's hard to, there aren't very many standout moments. And I would say that is definitely one of the, uh, one of the problems with this record, if it has any. I'm going to echo what I said in my Awesome Wave review. The lyrics and the vocals on this album fit absolutely perfectly with the music. The, his weird singing fits very well with the music. His weird singing especially works with the very weird words and sentences he's saying that are super abstract and super weird. It all just fits with the music and makes for an ideal vocal and lyrical experience. It, it, all, it all amplifies the quality and enjoyableness of the music. Another thing I want to point out that I just think is cool about this album is uh, I really think that uh, concept records, concept albums, are, are kind of cool. And this one kind of has a concept going for it in the uh, track listing. Because the first song is called Intro, and then you have Arrival in Nara, and then you have the song Nara. And so then you have all these songs sandwiched between Nara and Leaving Nara. And Leaving Nara is the second to last song, and at the end of the song, it's like silence, and then it transitions to the bonus track. So if you're listening to this on CD, you'll literally hear silence, and then this other track will start up after like 40 seconds of silence. So 
that's really cool. So it's like you're listening to this album. It's like this whole album, all these music and the weird lyrics are all take place in this fictional world of Nara. And that's just that's just a cool thing. Honestly, that's just a that's a cool little concept they threw in there. It's not making it's not it's not drastically affecting the score I'm about to give this album, but it is neat. It's cool. In conclusion, final thoughts. This is a very enjoyable, very pleasant album. The music on this thing just really is really nice. It's very pretty. It just sounds really nice and really good. But I would say this is an inferior album to an awesome wave because it lacks those awesome moments. This album doesn't have a ton of blow your mind, that's so cool. It doesn't have a lot of, wow, that's so cool, I want to come back to that. This album is just, a, it's less accessible because it's less cool. It's just more calm and peaceful. It is well made, it's very well produced, it does sound really good, it just doesn't sound awesome. Also, uh, the songs, I, I really, just really, Left Hand Free really, I really don't like this song very much, so that's also lowering the score for me. But I'm gonna give this thing, despite the negative things I said about it, I'm gonna give this thing a 3.75 out of 5. What do you think, what do you think, what do you think? You're the best, you're the best, you're the best. Needle drop, needle drop, needle drop, needle drop, needle drop. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Thanks, guys, for watching. Comment and subscribe. <laughs> uh, comment and subscribe. I want money.